Hey everyone, it's Simka here from The Fusing Shop and tonight I'm going to show you how to make this cool corkscrew style marble. Okay, let's go over the materials we're going to need for tonight's project. Um, number one is a pair of smashers, glass smashers. Number two is two 10 millimeter rods. Uh, let me just find where I put mine. Here's one, and where's number two? Here we go, both of these will work. Okay, last we need our color that we're gonna use for our marble. I am gonna go with, let's see, I like this blue, this is, deep sea blue it's a really cool cool color i'm gonna go with that and i'm gonna go with some white because i like white where is the white i know half the videos i'm just trying to find stuff okay got my white rod got my blue and i'm gonna go with one other color uh something not too dark let's see what i got here Okay, we'll go with the double amber purple, which is a really cool looking color too. Okay, we have our glass together. Okay, glass is on. So first thing we're gonna do is how we usually start every marble is with a nice gather. So we're gonna gather some glass on the end. Put your tip of your rod in the flame. And it'll start to get nice and red hot. And keep rotating that. Keep your elbow down with your glass angled in the diagonal. Going in a down direction. Sharpen up that flame a little bit. Start getting this glass to move. I see it's starting to gather already. And depending on how big or small you want your marble to be will depend on how big or small the gather you make. I am pretty happy with this size right here. So once you have your gather, you're gonna take your smashers. And you're just gonna lay that glass right on there and smush it down. Smush it down so you get a lollipop. Yum, yum, yum. Okay, we're just gonna put up, that's one lollipop. We actually need to make two. If I was a kid, I'd be very happy and get to have two lollipops. Uh, before I do that, I'm gonna pull a quick stringer here of white. I'm gonna just clear the crud off the end of this rod. So we have a nice clean end to work with. And I'm just going to flame cut it. Make a nice termination there. Boop. Throw that in the bucket. Take our white. Show you how to quickly pull a stringer. Just attach two ends of the glass together. It doesn't have to be masterfully done. Just get it on there. And we're gonna heat up a bunch of glass right now. Get it nice and hot. Use more of a reducing flame for the white. And just put some heat in there. And when you see it start to glow, just pull your hands apart and just pull that string right out.
Okay. Just cut an end off. And we are good to go. These usually cool down pretty quickly. that here with my other color okay now we have our two rods so what we're gonna do is we're gonna put one color on one lollipop and the other two colors on the other one and then we're gonna sandwich them together like so boom like that oh, there we go put these two together and we're gonna heat and twist but first let's put down that color So first one I'm going to do is some stripes of white on this lollipop because it just looks really cool. I like having just a little bit of white in there. Since I'm using a tiny stringer, I'm using a tiny flame. That's why I can control, have better control over the glass. And just lay it down. There's one. I'm going to do one more. Okay. Just two little lines of white. And now I am going to put my blue over this. So I'm going to take the blue rod, heat it up, keeping that lollipop warm. And we're just going to lay down the blue right over this white. And that'll just give us a nice, cool effect. Cool, stripey effect on the blue side of this. Just push some color on there. Take that off. Oop. Now I'm going to do just what we did before. I'm going to take the smashers and smash that flat back into the lollipop shape. And there we go. Beautiful. Okay, so that's one half done. Now we're going to take our other lollipop and put some color on that one. This is the double amber. Now let's see, and we want to work it in oxidizing flame, which is a lot of oxygen to really bring out that purple in this color. I know the rod looks brown, but it actually, when it's in the flame, it changes color and turns a nice, beautiful, cool looking purple. Just smush, smush some color right down on there. Again, depending how you, how much you want, just keep put, putting more glass down on there. And when you when you're happy with the amount, you just flame cut that off. And we're gonna go ahead and melt this down a little bit, and use our smashers to smash it back into our lollipop. What I like about this technique is you get a really cool mixture of clear and color. And I love when you get clear on a marble, clear marbles. When you mix the color with the clear, it just looks really amazing. Okay, I am happy with how this looks. Now we're just gonna take our two lollipops, butt them together, colors go together. The two colors go together, so the clear, we have a layer with color and a layer with clear for each lollipop and the two color layers go together. So I'm gonna make my flame a little bit bigger. Okay. 
Now you're going to heat up your two color layers. And we are just going to roll those together. Going to get them nice and red hot. And color faces will go together. And just roll one on the other. Just like that. And now we're going to start our twists. Or when I say that, I mean we're going to start turning our two hands. And this is great making this style marble because it really teaches you how to control the glass and how to turn and twist. And that's important so you can make sure your hands are turning at the same rate so you don't twist your glass. That's an important skill when you work with, when you flame work, is that you don't want twists to happen unless you intend for them to happen. So you have to learn to twist, turn your hands together when you're working on a piece. So right now we're just going to melt all that in. We want to mix a nice hot seal. When we hot seal these two together, we can go ahead and start doing our twist. I'm actually going to lower the flame when we do the twist. So this way, again, you get better control. You get better control over the glass. And it's easier to make the twists happen where you want them, rather than the glass just getting all floppy and crazy. Okay. We're ready to start our twist, so I'm just going to go in with a nice sharp flame. I'm going to heat in the middle first because that's where it's thickest and that's where the glass um, is going to move last, if that makes any sense. The ends are thinner, so the glass is going to be way hotter, at, I mean, way hotter at the ends, so we put a nice amount of heat into the middle. And we're going to start to what to make a twist. All you do is have one hand turn slower or faster than the other one. And you'll start to see those twists appear. Again, depending on how many twists you want, will depend how long you do this for. And how tight you want your twist to be. Right now this looks pretty good. I'm going to add a little bit more. A little bit more twist in there. This is like a kind of beehive, cool looking beehive or something. Okay. Next, we're just going to take off one of the rods. Your decision, your choice, take your pick. Whichever one makes you happy. Make a nice termination right there at the end. And now we're just going to start making our gather again. We're going to just going to gather all this glass down into a ball. And then we'll take out the marble mold, which is right over here and get this go, get, start shaping it up. All right. I like to use the bigger fire because it's a lot of glass. Use the outer flame. This will help move things along much quicker. And now all that glass really starts to melt together. Okay, 
And once it starts shaping up, we can lower the flame back to like a smaller flame because this is already beginning to round out and look really good. And I'm going to take it and get it into the marble mold now. Let's just put some heat in it. You want to heat one side and round one side at a time when you're making marbles. Let's just get some heat. Rotate, rotate, rotate. Don't put it in the mold right away or else it's going to make everything all deformed. And get in the mold and then you just do some more rotations. Boom, that looks great. It's really rounding out nicely. Okay, now we're going to attach a punty to the other side of this and round out, round out this side, this side, and finish it off. Where is my punty? Here we go. Perfect. This one is great. This is that rod we just took off the other side. I'm just going to sharpen it up a little bit on the end while keeping this hot. You always want to keep thick glass hot so it does not e explode on you. Cold seal this on. Flame cut off the other side. Make yourself a nice termination. I'm going to peel some of that clear off so I get more color on the end. Now we're going to melt that down, gathering up that glass. And that looks pretty good. Just flame polish it a little bit. Take out any of those tool marks. Crack off our punty. And flame polish out the little glass blip that it left behind. Melt that back down into the marble. And that's great. All right, I'm going to throw this in the kiln. And here we have the finished marble. You could see the blue with the white stripes mixed in there in the spiral. Right there. You can really clearly see it there. And we also see that double amber purple there. Makes a really cool looking effect, the two colors mixed together. Thanks so much for checking out the video. Um, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you next time. I think next time we're gonna make um, some a dot implosion uh, using some tubing, so that'll be exciting. And we'll see you next time.